Behind me is our Swiss side instrumented bike, a rolling aerodynamic laboratory for out on the road. Aerodynamic drag is the single biggest resistance a rider has to overcome. Thereby, it's the number one performance parameter in cycling. In order to be fast, you need to be aerodynamically efficient. So to design good cycling products, we need to have a good understanding of real-world aerodynamics and what the rider requires. At Swiss Side, we not only design the world's fastest aero wheels, we also do aerodynamic development for some of the biggest brands on the market, as well as supporting world-class athletes. In our drive for continuous improvement and better understanding, we designed this instrumented bike using technologies which we transferred from Formula One Motorsport, where our engineering team has its roots. The bike is fitted with an array of sensors for monitoring the oncoming airflow conditions, but most importantly, also the rider's reaction to the wind. We can, for example, measure if the rider is seated, if the rider has the hands on the handlebar, where on the handlebar, um, what's the steering angle, how high their body is, which is important for drag, um, how much are they leaning into the wind, what's their power output. All of these things are really important for understanding the rider reaction. It also helps us understand where the limits are. For example, as of what wind strength uh, can a rider no longer stay uh, comfortably stable in an aerodynamic position and has to lift out of a position um, or reduce their power output to balance again. Similarly, where are the limits for the front wheel stability or for the maximum side force that's acceptable on a bike frame? That's what this instrumented bike is about and it's telling us these answers. Ultimately, 75% of the total drag comes from the rider. So understanding what the rider needs is really important for minimizing drag and maximizing performance. All of this information feeds back into our development process. For example, we know what wind angles occur out on the road in the real world. So when we're testing in the wind tunnel or in CFD doing computer simulations, where we test over a wide range of, of crosswind angles, we know how to correctly weight those results to ensure that the end result is true real-world performance. We also know where to set the limits to make sure that the products we are designing remain stable, rideable, and achieve their goal of actually enhancing ride performance by reducing aerodynamic drag. The Swiss Side Instrumented Bike, the most advanced on-bike aerodynamic measurement system ever seen in the cycling industry. It's delivering us new understanding and changing the way we approach aerodynamic development to deliver real-world measurable performance out on the road where it matters.